The sight of old homes in the United States often invokes some kind of nostalgic feeling because they hold a piece of history and tell stories of what life might have been decades ago while serving as a bridge linking the past and the present. Ben and Aaron Napier found purpose in flipping these homes, helping to blend a piece of the past with the present, and was the birth of the HGTV show Hometown. Now, however, fans got a bit worried when they didn't see Ben at the start of Season 7. So, what happened to Ben Napier? The hometown show host was born into the family of Benny and Wayne Napier, where he cultivated every skill he has used in his career path ever since. The Napiers have a really religious root with Wayne being a preacher. Initially, Ben was on track to take after him, but he eventually had other plans that have made him the host of one of the most successful shows on HGTV. While growing up, Ben has been open to learning from his dad, leading up to the skills that sustain him today. Firstly, he learned how to be a preacher and towed that path for a while when he was younger. Back then, he was a youth minister at Laurel First United Methodist Church, which lasted up until 2014. It turned out that his heart belonged to another occupation, and he still got his background from his father. He grew to become really good at woodwork, allowing him to create amazing pieces that resonate with his fans. In a Father's Day post that Ben made, he thanked his father, whom he referred to as the first person to show him how to build something, and also the man who gave him his first tools. Fortunately, Ben has remained faithful to the skill he acquired from his father and has made quite a career off this skill as a woodworker. Over the years, Ben will grow consistently in his crafts, eventually going down a path less taken as a preserver of old buildings by making them up to standard to modern expectations. Side by side with Aaron, the duo created amazing spaces that gained not only the attention of people in their hometown Laurel, but the United States at large. The bond between the couple remains strong as they both navigate these difficult missions. Ben, with a good understanding of structural enhancement, does the bulk of the woodwork when they have a project. Aaron, on the other hand, has a keen eye for aesthetics that speak to the personality of clients that they have on the show. When one takes a look at the life Ben had before the show, it would provide clarity as to why he has succeeded in his craft. Ben studied history at Ole Miss and has managed to remain a custodian of the past, while flawlessly blending it with the present. His works remain a combination of craft and a touch of history, which tell stories about the souls of these homes. All seemed to be going well till recently. Ben had faced a condition that threatened his place in the show. As gathered from the couple, both of them got really scared and didn't know what the future would look like. We will get to the details of this event later in this video. Career and Growth Premiering in January of 2016, Aaron and Ben got a push into the public eye when HGTV approached them, offering the opportunity to air their journey. This series isn't just about renovation. It's about revitalizing a community and helping families find their dream homes. Clients get the opportunity to pick their homes and have them tailored to whatever vision they have for their homes, creating attachments that are likely to last a lifetime. Watching these buildings move from being barely habitable to being exceptionally beautiful has been the main attraction for fans of the show. Husband and wife working tirelessly to build dreams and inspire creativity. Here are some things that you have to know about the show Hometown. One thing is sure, Hometown wouldn't exist without its charming hosts, Ben and Aaron Napier. As you already know, they're both Laurel, Mississippi natives and their love for their hometown shines through in every episode with an effort to give the town a good look while attracting attention that will likely lead to more investments in the area. Before the show, Ben was a dedicated woodworker and builder preserving historic buildings and crafting beautiful furniture. On the other hand, Erin had a background in graphic design, and her eye for style would later become a crucial element of the show's success. Just two ordinary folks going about their daily businesses, not knowing that this simple lifestyle will eventually trigger a major turn in their lives. The idea for Hometown sparked when the Napiers bought a fixer-upper in Laurel. They documented the renovation process on social media and their passion for restoring the home, along with their undeniable chemistry, 
caught the attention of HGTV. In 2016, Hometown premiered, and it quickly captured the hearts of viewers across the nation. For anyone who has followed the show closely, you would observe that each episode of Hometown follows a similar format. This involves Ben and Aaron meeting with a couple or family looking to buy and renovate a historic home in Laurel. The potential buyers share their vision and budget, and the Napiers get to work, creating unique spaces that speak to the personality of each client. Ben, with his expertise in construction and carpentry, tackles the structural renovations, breathing new life into the often dilapidated houses. Meanwhile, Erin uses her design magic to create warm, inviting spaces that blend historic charm with modern functionality. The couple had admitted to having very limited knowledge of how to run such a show. They admitted that they just started watching Fixer Upper, only when they were made the offer to feature in BGTV. A move that was aimed at gaining insight into what life on a reality show was like in the real estate niche. It seems this move paid off well as the couple has been doing great things on the show. Just so you know how good they became, in 2023 the show was rated the number one most popular real estate show on Agent Wealth Hustle. In the very first episode titled Big Renovation in a Small Town, Ben and Aaron helped a young couple, Laura and Ross, turn a tiny shotgun house into a functional and stylish starter home. They both could be heard saying that they really knew little to nothing about renovating homes. However, Ben's clever carpentry skills maximized the space, while Aaron's use of light, color, and vintage finds created a cozy and inviting atmosphere. Remember the craftsman cottage that they worked on in Season 3, Episode 8? The episode featured a young family looking for a home with a touch of history, Ben meticulously restored the home's original craftsman details, while Aaron incorporated playful elements for the children's rooms. The result was a home that perfectly balanced the charm of the past with the needs of a growing family. The duo also showcased their ingenuity in Season 5, Episode 12. This unique episode showcased Ben and Aaron's ability to tackle a truly ambitious project. They transformed a historic bank building into a stunning single-family home. Ben's ingenuity came into play as he preserved the bank's vault door and repurposed other architectural elements. Aaron's design choices embraced the industrial feel of the building while creating a warm and comfortable living space. Hometown might not have been the only home renovation show running at the time, but it quickly gathered an impressive amount of followership over a short period. The reason might just be that Hometown is more than just a renovation show. It's about the heart of a community. Ben and Aaron are deeply invested in Laurel's revitalization, and they showcase the town's charm throughout the series. They often feature local businesses and artisans, highlighting the unique character of Laurel, a conscious effort to bring the town and its potential to the notice of everyone. The show also celebrates the stories of the homeowners, we see them connect with their new homes and become part of the Laurel community. Not just any new home, but one with a touch of the client's personality. It's truly heartwarming to witness the joy on their faces as they step into their dream homes. As a testament to the resilience of the duo, Ben and Aaron, the show has been on for a really long time now and will be making the hundredth episode in the current season. Hometown has become a phenomenon. It's currently in its eighth season, and it shows no signs of slowing down. As a plus, the show will now be spreading to new territories. The success of the show has led to spin-offs like Hometown Kickstart, which expands the Napier's mission of revitalization beyond Laurel. The show's popularity can be attributed to several factors that blend to make what every fan has been drawn to. First, there's the undeniable charm of Ben and Aaron. Their genuine love story, coupled with their passion for their craft and their hometown, is infectious. A scroll through their Instagram handles will show how much the couple love and cherish each other. From one of the posts from Aaron, we learned that the couple had promised each other that they would get married just about a week after they had met. The bond between the two has always been really strong. Another factor that has helped the show all along is that the focus on historic preservation resonates with viewers who appreciate the stories woven into the fabric of older homes. This way, we're not looking at just the buildings, but the fact that each one is an echo of the past. Consequently, 
the show offers a sense of hope and possibility. Seeing rundown houses transformed into beautiful homes inspires viewers to believe that anything is possible. It reminds us that home is more than just bricks and mortar. It's a place where dreams take root and families thrive. Despite the promising future of the show at the moment, it almost suffered a major setback in season seven. Ben wasn't as active as he used to be, and it turned out that he underwent shoulder surgery back in 2023 to repair a rotator cuff. The hard part for Ben wasn't necessarily the surgery itself, but the recovery period. For someone who has been used to being active on the show, the restrictions that he faced during the recovery period were indeed frustrating. Anyone familiar with the couple knows that Ben has quite a huge build. According to him, this meant that he was supposed to be active on site when there was heavy lifting to be done, but he just couldn't. He had to rest his hand to make sure that he didn't complicate his condition any further. He had to learn to delegate some of the duties. Aaron, as you would imagine, was also really worried about her husband's well-being. Ben and Aaron remain strongly bound together in their mission and have continued to inspire hope and creativity among their fans and viewers. In a recent heartwarming appearance on The Jennifer Hudson Show, the two shared some of their plans for the show while giving insight into what their life looks like currently. In the video, they shared with the public their plans to expand the show to Florida in the coming episodes, while also hinting that they will be having some really special guests in the coming episodes, giving fans something to look forward to. While at it, the two displayed an unwavering drive to create and sustain the very soul of the buildings that they work on, being a shift from the uptight contemporary architecture that we have been used to. Amid the perfect flawless and spotless spaces that are being propagated over social media these days, Aaron has been inspired to bring back to people's consciousness what reality looks like. This is her goal in the new book, Heirloom Rooms, Soulful Stories of Home, which she also announced on The Jennifer Hudson Show, a glimpse into reality and a reminder to take a break and live beyond the desire to impress. And for people who keep their family life private, we got a glimpse into their private lives. They revealed that they have got two dogs for the family. In all, the couple remains on a mission to remind people to pay attention to things in their lives that are worth the attention, instead of stressing over other things that might be fleeting. Building a home that aligns with the dreams and aspirations of an individual is a crucial step into self-realization and fulfillment. The impact that has been made by the duo can't be easily overlooked. They've helped rebuild numerous homes in their hometown. Laurel and such can't easily be overlooked. The college they both attended is building a school for the design and building arts and has made it known to the couple that it will be named after them. This was also revealed by the couple in The Jennifer Hudson Show, a step to immortalize their impact within their community. This could also be a call to anyone who might want to embark on similar projects to carry on and make as much impact as possible. Whereas the original hometown show focuses attention on the renovation efforts within Laurel, there have been some spin-offs from the show, focusing on some other aspects of the couple's work life. Hometown Takeover, one of the spin-offs, shot its first season in 2021, covering the renovation efforts as it's taken out on the road, visiting different towns and helping rebuild some structures. They, along with a team of design and construction specialists, descend upon a chosen small town for a complete makeover. Season one targeted Wetumpka, Alabama, where they tackled homes, businesses, and even public spaces like parks and restaurants. Season two revisited Wetumpka to showcase the town's revitalization and featured guest appearances from other HGTV stars. Filming for season three is complete with Sebring, Florida serving as the new beneficiary of the Napier's renovation magic. Also, in 2021, they started another spin-off titled Hometown, Ben's Workshop. This particular aspect offers a more intimate look at Ben Napier's passion for woodworking. Each episode features Ben creating a unique project in his workshop, Scotsman Company, while engaging in conversation with celebrity guests from a variety of backgrounds, including musicians, comedians, and athletes. The show provides a window into Ben's design process, and lets viewers connect with the couple on a more personal level.
Family. Ben and Aaron turn out to have been high school sweethearts and had the opportunity to bond better when they both got into the same college Ole Miss. Ever since, they have shared their dreams and aspirations to the excitement of their fans. The two got married in 2008 and have remained in their hometown ever since, an obvious inspiration for the title of the show. But it seems the show will be going beyond the hometown in the coming seasons. As already mentioned, they are expanding to Florida. With this, fans are very excited to see where they might also take the show in subsequent episodes and seasons. In the transition into fame, Ben and Aaron have managed to stay focused and remain intentional about how they want their lives to work out. In line with this, they have chosen to keep their two kids, Helen and May, away from social media till they graduate high school. In an interview with E.T., Ben revealed that they're not alone in that decision. They made it as a pact with their relatives who have their children within the same age range. They have been so true to this resolve that there is no clear picture of these two online. You can't help but appreciate how the two have managed their lives. The secrecy of their personal lives isn't just something that started recently. They have been that way for quite a while. For instance, when Aaron was pregnant with Helen, they didn't make this known till she was almost due for delivery. The same was the case with May. The amazing thing about this is how Aaron was able to hide the pregnancy throughout the period that they spent on set. Anyway, it makes sense that they're so protective of their children after the challenges that they had initially with childbirth. Turns out Aaron faced some health challenges that made it difficult to get pregnant at the time. Luckily for the couple, they welcomed their first daughter, Helen, in 2018 and the second one, May, in 2021. What fans are looking forward to at the moment is what the decision of Ben and Aaron will be when Helen and May come of age. The question is, will they become part of the show, or will they want to do something of their own? Guess we will find out when they're old enough, assuming Aaron and Ben can keep the show up till then. So far, it seems Ben has made a good recovery from the surgery and is poised to even do more in the show. And he seems very intentional about himself at the moment, given his weight loss journey. Ben got concerned about his weight and rising blood pressure and decided to become more conscious about losing weight. Aaron admits that his diet has changed, leaving out some of the fatty food and taking up a healthy one. Ah, the change has been quite remarkable and we wish the Napiers well in all they do. Ah, we've come to the end of this episode. Do like and subscribe for more content like this. Till next time, goodbye.